Our first, our first um, speaker, it, Shon, Shonda Buchanan, is a poet, um, memoirist, and a fiction writer. She was assistant professor at the Department of English at Hampton University. She's currently a lecturer at Cal State Northridge. She's the author of Who's Afraid of Black Indians? It's a book of poetry. And the editor of Voices from the Mert Park and Voices from the Mert Park Redo. Her work has appeared in the Los Angeles Times, the LA Weekly, AWP's The Writer's Chronicle, and Indian Country Today. Her new book is Equipose, excuse me, um, Poems from, from Goddess Country. I give you Shonda. Thanks everyone for being here. And thank you, Michelle, for asking me to read. I appreciate that. Make sure I don't fall off the stage. If you knew my true name, wouldn't you want to take me there? If you after the election, the earth stopped spinning, and I had to get my oil changed. <laughs> that day, I walked out into the frozen sunlight. That day, I went to Jiffy Lube, and that middle-aged white woman wouldn't speak to me or acknowledge me, but I knew she could see my black blood on the ground. She could see my heart contracting like a red fist on the floor, and that I was bleeding from disbelief. She knew I was an accident, walking into the lobby, sifting, next, sitting next to her, and reading the paper, and the lapidorite world spun through my chest and face, crashing into my throat, lacerating my jawbone, peeling my breath, engulfing my lungs, suffocating me as my heart quietly beat on the grimy, jiffy blue floor. But she would look me in the eye. She wouldn't say, I'm sorry for voting for that despicable man. I'm sorry for doing this to my daughters and my grandmothers. I'm sorry for the clan mothers that grinned and burned the genitals of black men swinging from Mississippi trees. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the hobbling, the cut off ears, the Atlantic Ocean sprinkled with African bones, but you see, I needed you. Sorry for Setha, Pocahontas, Jim Crow, Chavez, Mudbone, microaggression, welfare. I'm sorry, I voted out of fear. I'm sorry that black people still make me afraid even after all these years of living around them. I'm sorry I secretly want you all to go back to Africa or Belize or the Dominican Republic or Belize or, or Brazil. Or, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I never invited a black person to dinner or lunch. I'm sorry your great, great black and Indian grandmothers breastfed and my slave master and training babies. I'm sorry for history your historical trauma against my historical trauma. I'm sorry. I'm sorry your mothers were shamed and starved and whipped and raped and you feel that rape every morning you wake up and at some point every day that you are alive. You think about that word, R-A-P-E, in bold Hollywood sign, sign-sized letters. And you think of what black, red, brown, yellow, people have gone through, have suffered at the hands of colonizers, slave masters, teachers, scientists, wall builders, soldiers, white supremacists, and well-meaning white people like me who voted out of fear. I'm sorry I voted for the end of all things good. I thought I was doing the right thing. 
I'm afraid of what I don't know, like rap music and collard greens and good times and what does black girl magic mean anyway? <laughs> I'm sorry I don't have black friends and I still only talk to one black woman I work with when I need something done. I'm sorry for Emmett Till and Lumumba and DACA and MOVE and Spanish missions and fire hoses that tore the flesh off of those black children in there. I'm sorry for Jasper, Texas and Trayvon and Sandra and Eric. But didn't I say I needed you? It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. And I'm sorry you can't breathe. I am just a white woman in America. I am just a white woman in America. I am just a white woman in America. I am sorry I was the Southern Belle and your mothers and your mother's mothers laying in the grass where the road we traveled to get here. Your fingers, your toes, your wounds, your hair, touching, your laughter, tears, escapes, green core harvest dance, taunting me, filling my mouth with sweet sorrow bread. I chew tin foil to make myself stop crying at night because I am afraid of all that I don't know. I am sorry your heart is on that floor, but it's just one heart, right? It's not as if a million hearts beat on that floor waiting to die. It's not as if I really have to see anything I don't want to see. You in Whole Foods, you on the sidewalk in the cardboard box, you under the freeway overpass, you at the movies, you at Macy's. You make me afraid. And I will be damned if I tell you I see it. I will be damned if I tell you that your heart on that floor is my heart too. And I can't breathe either. I need you. But I will be at the march. I will be at the women's march. So we kept quiet at the Jiffy Loop. My historical trauma against her historical trauma. I read the paper. She watched TV. And when her oil was changed, she left. She never looked at me. Not once. But the day and my heart, thank you.